From the 15th century onwards, Lyon, city of the center of France, was known throughout Europe for its silk industry. The first weavers set up in Lyon under the reign of François I and prospered there for five centuries. They were responsible for the radical changes in the world of seamstresses. The number of Canuts Lyonnais weavers grew to such an extent that the city's architecture changed to facilitate their work. And so grew the trebles, passages, to go from one courtyard to another without the precious material getting wet. When the weaving trade became mechanized, the Canuts moved into the convents in the croix Rousse area. The height of the ceiling here meant the huge weaving machines could be fixed. At the beginning of the 20th century, silk weaving supported half the town's population. The Canuts began to understand their own strength. From 1831, their revolts were the first real French workers' movements. The Troubles were then the ideal means of crossing the town in secret, hidden from the authorities. Until the invention of the digital codes, they were used as shelter and secret passageways by popular movements. The Canuts invented unionism and cooperatives. The workers' condition was invented through political thinking. European workers, militant politicians, philosophers, group fighting for the rights of man began to look at Lyon from the 19th century onward as the capital of the social movements. Today, when Lyon's weaving industry is moving into a luxury trade and the restoration of old cloth, the Trebles are still the soul of the city.